Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm Kat and I make a lot of videos related to luxury lifestyle and fashion so today I'm going to be talking and reviewing two bags the Speedy 20 as well as the Speedy Nano so if you are interested in either of these bags then keep on watching Firstly, I'm going to be talking a bit more about the Speedy 20 so currently this bag is a little bit more of course newer than my Speedy uh, Nano if you see the size comparison it is definitely much bigger, right, for the Speedy 20. And I got this for 2,790 Singapore dollars. First impressions of this bag is I definitely love it. Yeah, I mean, this is a really stunning piece. It's made in France. It will have this uh, little step here. It has got no step at the side here. It shows Louis Vuitton here. This is the older version of the current Speedy 20. Um, the current new in Speedy 20 that's launched in 2022 has got an adjustable strap, but the only difference is that everything's the same. It's just that this strap is not adjustable. I think it depends on where you're at. Um, depending on the boutique, they might have stopped for the older one, but for these ones, this one is typically out of stock and you can probably still get it in the resale market as well at a little bit of a premium. I got this in the black version of the strap and personally I seen some reviews of the new Speedy 20 with the, with the adjustable strap and people just felt like the strap adjustment kind of lands a little bit on the shoulder area so it just makes it a little bit more bulky whereas to me i feel like i'm really happy with the older version because it's a little bit more seamless um, i'm currently five foot seven and it sits literally on my waist i can definitely fit my water bottle inside the bag so if you have like a Nalgene small bottle in 400 ml, you can definitely fit this into your bag. So if you're someone who really loves water and you carry your water bottle everywhere, just like me, then definitely the Speedy 20 fits a lot more. So some details of the bag is that it does not have any legs underneath. But I've stuffed it with all these things and I personally do not put um, fabric except for this. The colour is in a very nice red and it has like a nice compartment inside as well. This is the only compartment. Um, personally, I do not use a bag organiser for this bag. So the cons about this bag is definitely, I feel the only con that I have about this bag is the Vachetta leather. Um, I have a little bit of um, situation right now because it has I think I brought this bag out when it was raining and it has a little bit of some stain going on. So I think this is the only thing to be concerned about. And personally for this kind of the shadow leather, I do not like to put twillies, especially in leather, especially on LV because I think that's just a lot more things going on and I don't want to complicate the bag and that's why I don't like to put twitties on my LV. And the second con is that because the strap is actually a fabric um, material and in Singapore it's actually very warm, it's very humid. So if I carry the bag out in really hot weather, if I'm wearing a spaghetti strap, I will definitely sweat more. So. You just have to be wary that, okay, if you have too much sweat going on, then over time, maybe in the next five years, it's probably just only like, in the next few years, it's gonna get a little bit of a stain going on. You might notice that there's a little bit of change in terms of lighting because I had to refilm this. I personally enjoy this bag and I get so much use of the Speedy 20. It is no joke. Um, I think also because I, at this stage in my life, I I just prefer a more fuss-free bag and a bag that I could just sling across, put all my stuff, including my water bottle, and just like get out the door. I've been gravitating more to the bigger bags instead of like the micro bags. So I think this is probably having a kit is the reason why. So here is the side-by-side -side comparison of the Speedy Nano as well as the Speedy 20. And something to take note of is that the zip actually ends to the end here 
whereas for the Speedy 20, it actually falls all the way to the edge, which makes it really easy to get in and out of the bag. I feel like this function um, is just a lot better, I feel, personally, because I'm able to fit a little bit more in terms of like the mouth opening. And if you look here for the Speedy Nano, there are definitely severe limitations. Again, I've stuffed the Nano Speedy with the dust bag as well as some paper and a charcoal uh, activator thing. It just keeps the bag in shape as well and it just prevents a lot of moisture to be stuck within the bag itself. So the strap is actually removable. So I'll just show you how it looks like with the strap removed. It just fits all that I need. It fits the essentials that I have and I love it. One thing that I want to add as well is that it actually comes with a lock as well. So in the event that if you want to lock this case here, it actually comes with it, but the Speedy Nano doesn't. My bag came with a gift card. It also came with a little small bag, the lock and key and the lock right here. The lock says LV and Louis Vuitton Paris behind. So personally, I do not carry this bag on its own like that because I want to limit the sweat and moisture to be on the pochetta. So typically, this is not the way that I carry this bag. I like to carry this bag crossbody style with the strap. I've had this bag way before COVID, so it's roughly about three to four years old. And I got this bag for less than got this bag way before the price increase, so it's really a lot cheaper than at the moment. I bought this bag without actually looking at it in the store. Um, I actually ordered it from the SA and I got it shipped to my house. So I didn't get the opportunity to choose the bag that I wanted or the, the various versions of the bag. So something to take note of is I did see photos online that um, the icon of the LV, they're not exactly straight. In this case, it is a little bit off. So this is actually one of the cons of the bag. So if we look here, slightly a little bit off. I'm not sure if you're able to see it. This is made in France, this version. And I do not carry this Nano Speedy on its own. And this is not removable, the strap. But it just hangs really nicely just below my hip area. So there's no feet underneath this bag. So the front is LV straight and behind you see that the LV is kind of you know it's not exactly because it's kind of the, the full canvas just kind of coats it all the way to the back so something to take note of as well however there will be an LV just in the middle here like so something to notice is that there's a little bit of difference here a little bit of difference but then again, you're able to see the canvas. With three canvas, with three LV logo here and behind. So a little bit of details. Again, I know I'm going back and forth, but I guess that's the only way to really observe the difference right away. But this actually spells Louis Vuitton all throughout the button whereas here it says simply LV even though the size you can see that it's a little bit bigger for the Speedy 20 in terms of the logo and there's literally piping all over probably that's how you call it piping I don't really foresee, I don't really see a lot of wear and tear going on. Something to take note of as well internally within the bag. So if I really pull the bag, this is really how big it can open. And the sides of the bag, you can literally see this. Whereas the Speedy 20, it's full twin, it's it's really pink, it's all covered. 
So the finishing inside, it's a lot more finished. It's a bit more done. So in summary, which bag do you think that I prefer? It is a very tough choice. Whether should I go with the Speedy 20 or should I go with the Speedy Nano? Considering the fact that I'm a first time mom, I now have to carry a little bit more things. I feel that I'm gravitating more towards the Speedy 20. It's only because of practicality reasons and that's why I, I gravitate towards this bag. You carry more in it and I feel that with the strap itself, it being non-adjustable, I'm completely fine because I'm totally loving the length of the bag. It's just my lifestyle and that's why I go for and I would opt for the Speedy 20. I think that this bag is really great for anyone and I feel like the micro bags are still a trend at the moment and if you're someone who really loves small bags then this is definitely one of the bags that you should get in your collection because it is so cute. It is one of the bigger micro bags in the market and for the price point between 1900 to about 2004 you can actually get this bag of course it doesn't come in full leather but the bag is extremely durable and it's a heritage piece as well this the style of the speedy originated since the 1930s so you're literally carrying a piece of heritage wherever you go and this is a classic design i feel that this is a very practical wearable small nano bag that should be in your collection if you like small bags. If you're someone who enjoys putting bag chains on your bags then this is actually how it looks like. So I've got myself like a little pom-pom right here and this is actually from Lindy's and it's really cute. Um, Karis, LB Lover CC and Lindy's actually did a collaboration together and this is actually how it looks like. Really cute. I could even add like another bag chain just to see how it looks like. I personally don't wear, you know, these two out because I feel that it just, it's a little bit messy in terms of the look. But if you like, you know, the look of it and you like to have bag charm go over, then this is actually how it looks like. So this is actually how a bag chain looks like on the Speedy Nano. This is really cute. I just like how it looks like. It's the first time that I've actually put this actually on here. So very beauty, very cute. So that's it for my review of the Speedy 20 as well as the Nano Speedy. And if you enjoy such videos, remember to like and subscribe to my channel because I make a lot of videos related to luxury lifestyle and fashion. So bye.